Hey guys, this is Todd with SubjectMoney.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove the background and make it transparent behind this tree in Photoshop. And this will work with any subject, for example a person with very detailed hair. This same concept will also work alright. So our normal quick select tool to remove the background is not going to work in this case. One, we are zoomed into our image, so we cannot select the outline. And number two, all of these little details between the twigs and the branches, the quick select tool is not going to be able to pick up those details. So let me show you how to do that. The first step that I want you to do is if you have this default background, I want you to remove that layer. All right, now I want you to click on the channels tab. And I want you to go through your channels until you find the channel that has the most contrast. In this case, it's the blue channel. I want you to right click on the blue channel and you're going to create a new channel by selecting duplicate channel. Click OK. All right. Now put the little icon on your new channel and remove it from the old channel. OK. Now you have your new channel selected. I want you to go to image adjustments and then levels now here we, we are going to increase the contrast even more we're going to bring our highlights up and we're going to bring our shadows down and the goal is to just really kind of increase this contrast but you don't want to get it too coarse you can hit the control and plus sign to zoom in so you can kind of inspect that but you just don't want it to get too coarse you want to make the areas that are not going to be masked you want to make them dark in the areas that are supposed to be your background, you want those to remain light. So whenever you're satisfied, you can then click OK. Go back to fit to screen. Now I want you to hold the control key and while holding the control key, click on your new channel and you can see that your channel has been selected. All right, with your channel selected, you're going to go to layers and I want you to add layer mask and you can see we have a layer mask that has been added but it's in the opposite direction that's okay just go up to image adjustments and click on invert you can also click Control I all right and there you have it you can see that the background has been removed but we're not done yet if I were to zoom in here you can see like in this little area in the foreground there is some transparency and that is not supposed to be there. That's because in these areas that are lighter colors, it's mistaking it or being the background. It's okay, we can fix this with our paint tool. I want you to press the Alt key and click on your mask. And then I want you to make sure your foreground is white. Click OK and select your brush. Make sure you have the brush size that works for the piece that you are working on. And all in our foreground here, we can see the areas that have been masked that are not background, we are going to just paint those and remove. And that way we will not have the transparency where it's not supposed to be. You can continue holding the Alt key and then clicking on your mask. And you can see some of the areas right here it may have picked up as the background. So you just wanna make sure that you're cleaning all of that up. You can see right here, and you can go through like the trunk of the tree and everything. In this case, I'm not gonna go through the little details, but if this is a real project, you're gonna wanna try to make this as perfect as possible. All right, press your Alt key and click on the mask. And there you have it. You can put this tree on any background and that transparency between all of the little leaves and the twigs is going to show through. All right, well, that's it, guys. I hope that this tutorial has helped you. If it has in any way, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be trying to put out about three to four of these tutorials every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.